All right, so I just left my OB appointment and I didn't get an ultrasound today because their ultrasound tech is not in. Well, she told me that she doesn't want me to have any intercourse. She told me that she wants me to take it as easy as possible and like not be lifting my son, not just like resting and laying down as much as possible, which kind of just makes me nervous. I mean, she only did a pap smear and she checked my service to kind of see how far along I was. I still am just so nervous. Guys, I'm so sorry for this view. I wanted to talk a little bit before my appointment, but I'm running so late. But I literally have 10 minutes to get to my doctor. I wanna say that I'm in my hat again from this same, last time I went to my doctor's appointment, I was wearing the same hat, but it's one of my favorite hats and I have to get something done with my hair. I really want to get highlights put in my hair, but I think you're supposed to wait until like three months, but I need to get my bangs cut. I say that in every video, but I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my last videos. I've been receiving so much messages and it literally, I'm already just an emotional person that's why i've been crying in like every video literally i'm so blown away by all the love and support that i have from y'all it's me so emotional because this is why i'm sharing these videos is to help people who's going through the same thing and to have this support system because it makes it so much easier when you're so scared of a miscarriage um being put on bed rest and like all of that stuff like it just helps me to share this and I just, I'm just so humbled by all of this and I just want to say thank you so much. Like, it truly, truly means the world to me. My appointment is at 11.30 am literally about to puke because I'm so nervous for this ultrasound. I just want everything to go good. I want to walk out with a little picture of my little peanut and just get good news. Um, maybe she will tell me that I can be off bed rest today. I just am praying for good news. I have faith just right now. I've been so anxious all weekend for this appointment. The first ultrasound is always nerve wracking, but much less when you've had miscarriage, it makes it that much more scary. Oh, oh, I just missed my turn. Dang it. That's horrible to do when you're already late, you know, miss your turn. Dang it. I'm about to go on my doctor's appointment as soon as I turn around. So, I'll see y'all when I get out. I'm going to try to film while I'm in there, but I'm just not sure if they will allow me to, but I'm going to see. <laughs> Good a day as any to start the rebuilding of life. The roads that lay open are many. When the old ones gone on, so yeah, you're probably right at like five, five or so weeks. can feel the sun on my skin. But it's still so early. I think what he just wanted me to do, or whoever ordered it, was just to make sure it was in the uterus and doing what it's supposed to for right now. So hopefully, I'll see if Jessica wants me to come, have you come back in one week or two weeks. I think they have me scheduled already for next Monday. I just got on my doctor's appointment. I got a little picture of our little peanut. There's literally not that much on there because I'm so early. Um, but since I have had a miscarriage and stuff, they're taking extra precautions. And um, 
I'm going to get a, another ultrasound on Monday, so exactly a week from now, and more blood work. Um, they did blood work my last appointment, and my progesterone, and all of my blood levels, and everything matched up with how many weeks I am. So, the ultrasound, and the blood work, and everything looks just like it should, and I am so excited to hear this news. Um, so, hopefully... When we go on, hopefully when I go on Monday, I will um, hear a heartbeat. And you know, your chance of a miscarriage drops a little bit when you hear the first heartbeat. So, I'm really hoping that there is a heartbeat when I come back to my appointment. So, as of now, I got great news. Everything's looking good. I'm feeling so much better after this appointment because... They really had me scared my last appointment, but I guess, you know, they just want to take as many precautions as possible um, due to my history, and they just, you know, wanted to be precautious. So, now that my blood work and ultrasound is looking good, I feel like after my appointment next Monday, if the blood work is still good today and then next week, and then they give me my ultrasound and there's a heartbeat and stuff, that everything should probably end up going well. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I have total faith in this. God knows what he's doing, and all I can do is just give it to him and pray. Um, I, you know, can't stress it's not good for my body. It's not good for the baby. So, just trying to stay calm. So, anyways, I just wanted to give that update, and everything like that so anyways I'm gonna go home now so let's see what we're gonna get into the rest of the day all right so excuse the quality because I'm on my iPhone right now instead of my camera but <clears throat> it is much later in the day and I'm just sitting here eating some fruit from Chick-fil-a and I saw a picture of a like snow cone today and oh my gosh now I'm craving one I'm gonna have to find where I can get a snow cone because I'm craving fruit in a snow cone right now anyway since my appointment I have kind of just been taking it easy just playing with my toddler and stuff and slowly trying to get housework done ever since I found out I was pregnant I've not caught up on housework since then I'm usually like on top of it but I just had so much going on and then like tired and then crampy and then nauseous like a lot of stuff has stopped me from catching up on my housework but we're leaving to go on vacation in like two weeks so I have a lot I need to get done I really didn't um, end this vlog today I really didn't vlog that much I just kind of took y'all to my appointment today so this video is kind of short and not much but I got good news um, and I'm happy with the news I got at the doctor today and I'm kind of just taking everything slow right now um, my housework can wait one of my um, subscribers said the housework will be there it will get cleaned and it will get dirty again and that is just so true um, but I just want to say thank you all so much for the support. I have gotten so many messages um, and people just sharing their stories with me, telling me that thank you for sharing my story and that I'm inspiring them and giving them strength and so many messages that really are just touching me. It just makes me happy that I am sharing my story because being a YouTuber, sometimes you can be like, Am I wasting my time? Should I be sharing all this? Like, is it worth it? Is it worth my time? But the messages that I get that are telling me, thank you for sharing my story, it's just like, it just encourages me to keep sharing my story and lets me know why I'm sharing my story. So thank you all so much. Um, all of your messages and comments truly mean the world to me, so keep them coming. These are my roses that I got for Mother's Day yesterday, by the way. The lighting's horrible because there's a window right there. But, um, it's my little roses. And then there's 
balloons that my husband and son surprised me with. So sweet. They're beautiful. I love flowers and plants, but this fruit is giving me life right now. But anywho, thank you all. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked the good news that I got today. Don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow this journey. I have another ultrasound on Monday. Comment below. Let me know, are you expecting how far along you are? I've had several people tell me that they also have a kid around my age. My son, my son is three and that you just found out you're pregnant. And I think that's so cool that I have so many subscribers that have a kid around my age and they have a due date right next to mine. So that's so exciting. So anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Until next time, bye guys. Bye.